last Friday, which was also we focused on um, the climate crisis effect on health, but we also had a birthday party for me. And it was I felt it was a kind of a turning point because behind the big banner that we were all holding, support a Green New Deal, were leaders of so many other movements that are not usually associated with climate. Reverend William Barber, Gloria Steinem, Dolores Huerta, I. Jen Poo, among others, all coming together to focus on the climate crisis. It was a beautiful experience. We, we committed civil disobedience in the atrium of the Hart Senate building. Reverend Barber led us in song. Um, would that every time we, we do this, there's somebody who can sing that beautifully with us. It really makes a difference. But there were, you know, we, we had been there before with far fewer numbers. So looking around and seeing the diversity, young, old, black, white, Asian, Latina, everybody was there. So many people singing and chanting together. And there are many layers of balconies going up, and so many people from the, the Senate offices leaning over and throwing us fists and high fives. And we saw Fire Drill Friday um, posters in the glass windows of some of the Senate offices. It felt so beautiful. And then we were arrested. And then we were taken by bus to a detention center. It's a big warehouse. At first, we were in little cells in the um, Capitol Hill Police Department, but then there were so many of us, they had to take us to this warehouse with a lot of folding chairs. And there were about 20 men on one side and, and, the, and about, I don't know, uh, there were 143 altogether, so there were a lot more women. And Maybe it was because it, it was my birthday, maybe it's because it was so close to Christmas, but the police let us kind of move around, and so there were huddles of, of women talking to each other, organizing, sharing stories. Uh, I can tell you one thing, it was the best birthday party I ever had. <laughs>